Uh, hello guys, today we're gonna take a look at the long-awaited, and to close out PS4 month, kinda, I you know I've kinda said, like, when I was, like, starting out, like, I don't know if I'll do all eight videos and I'll do a whole month PS4 games, I don't know, I don't know, but I ended up getting away with it anyway, so yeah, we're gonna close out with Doom Eternal, I actually have a case for this one, believe it or not, PS, that's the front, the back... It did. It does come with actually some specials though, which is interesting. Although I did get it used. So a little bit about this game before we really get into it. This is the most current Doom game. So I played all the Doom games, pretty much, which I'm pretty happy about. Really, maybe not all of them. There's still like stuff like Doom RPG, but the main Doom games, yeah. This game was released in 2020. As 8.7 out of 10 on IMDb with about 1,700 ish user votes on the Wikipedia reception page. Not as, a, as big as I thought it would be, but still has some stuff here. Metacritic gave the PC and Xbox One version 88 out of 100, the PS4 version 87 out of 100, and Nintendo Switch version 81 out of 100. Destructoid gave the game 8.5 out of 10, EGM gave it 4 out of 5 stars, GameSpot gave it 8 out of 10, IGN gave it 9 out of 10, PC Games gave it 9 out of 10. Um, VideoGamer.com gave it 8 out of 10. Critics praised the campaign graphics, level design, combat, soundtrack, and improvements over its predecessor. While some disliked the game's increased focus on storytelling and lore, with some criticism for the game's platforming sections. GameSpot gave the game 8 out of 10, praising the game's combat and platforming, but criticizing the game's story and calling it overly serious and confusing. And confusing. Game for criticized the game's multiplayer, calling it a huge step back for the entire series. Also, he also criticized the puzzle, saying that he felt they were out of place. He did, however, praise the game's combat, particularly the game's expanded arsenal, as well as the soundtrack, calling it catchy. He gave the game a score of 9.25 out of 10. Uh, its initial release, the version of the game offered via the Bushida launch, launcher appeared to have been attended to ship with uh, digital rights, uh, Den Uval digital rights management protection software, but it was not set up properly, leaving the game DRM free. However, this was patched soon afterwards. Also in May of 2020, the game was patched on Windows to include the kernel anti-cheat technology, which operates by installing a kernel mode driver. Some were concerned this would open up their computers to security vu security vulnerabilities, while others claimed performance loss caused by the patch. This led to users to review on the game on Steam over the decision. On May 20th, Eid went on record stating they would remove the <laughs> new anti-cheat upon the game's next patch due to the following week, and would reevaluate how they would implement anti-cheating measures in the game. The following week, the anti-cheat software was currently removed from the game. Yeah, so... So basically, this game improved in a lot of ways, but I think the, it seemed like the game took too many chances, based on what I've read. It seems like the game tried to do too much from the 2016 version. Tried to... It tried to bring in too many new things. Like, it tried to be... The Doom lore has always been fascinating, but what's made it fascinating is the fact that it, it doesn't have a lot in it. It kind of leaves it up to, like, like people using their imaginations, more or less, in certain, to fill out the blanks. And plus, Doom is always about action. The, the lore is told through the action, not through cutscenes or pages of dialogue. And we kind of got a hint of that in 2016, but it never felt overbearing. And this one it did, and plus... Alright, let's take a look. Um, we'll have to see. I did hear a lot of people for 2016 version. Yes, I'm... Alright, let's look here. One and two ancient gods multiplayer tutorials. What's classic Doom Reforce? What's this? Sweet. Wait, wait, wait. Mo Alright, so, I don't know if I, well, I don't know if there's, in the last game, you could, there was no offline multiplayer, which kind of was a little. So, 
So, I guess we might as well just do the campaign. Let's let's look at controls. I mean, I don't. I want that. Us. Maybe that's it. I, yeah, I don't know how to customize my. So maybe it's this. All right, let's just go at it. Medium. I actually also want to say I did beat the 2016 Doom game. One of the couple two games I've completely beaten in my life. So I definitely know my Doom. Now the only real thing I know about this game for sure is the fact that there is like um that there what's I gonna say? Um And this is also a thing, when they talk about puzzle solving, Doom games, they've always been kind of had some hints of puzzling. Oh boy. Oh, I hear the music. Oh, yes. Oh, this is so smooth. I love it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right. I Go 
gory kills. Yes, I, I I'm familiar with gory kills. Oh, we get the chainsaw a lot earlier in this one. Original, we barely, we didn't get it till a lot later. I like that. Oh yes, I remember these. Ooh. Oh man, that's so tough. I, I'll do sticky bombs. Yes, I, I'm familiar. A lot of the... This is very similar to like... There we go.
Oh boy. Oh, look at that big boy. we're gonna get that one I like how they start you off with the shotgun and not just a lame pistol I like that Okay. Oh, to change mods, I like the sticky bombs for now. Let's look at this. So you got, and the thing is, I love the history of this game, and I, I like the idea of like you know stuff behind it, but, but I don't want to read. I mean, yeah, I know about these. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I... Oh, 
Show legend. Okay. Um. Look at the map again. There we go. Okay. Oh, I hear that music. It's gonna fucking happen. Shit. 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 Fuck. Damn it. A lot of it's very similar, but they improved a lot of stuff. I think the only thing, and even, it's weird, because I thought the art design, I thought they made the art design for these guys more cartoony, but they look about the same to me. I'll have to start all this shit over. There we go. There we go. 
Oh, we got a new gun. Fuck yeah. Shit. Shit. We'll try a little bit more. Gotta aim for that top part. That seems to help. Oh man, I have to start all the way over again?
Damn it. Stood to still. I need to jump around more. Alright, I'll try one more time. I will say, I don't know if I'll complete this one like 2016. Not because it's not as good or anything. It's just because I don't know if I have another... It's just the fact that these games are so similar to each other. That I don't really know if I could... I already got There we go. Finally. Oh, we need cards.
R1. Shit. Shit. There we go. Nice. Ooh. Shit. I think I'm going to call it good here. Um, but yeah, that's uh, Doom Eternal for the PS4. Um, I like it. Do I think it's better than the 2016 version? To be honest, I don't know. To be honest, I think the 2016 version does a better job of capturing the spirit of the original Doom games. I feel like this one tries too hard to be a tries to tries to be more gimmicky and maybe that's not the right word for it maybe let's look at what's battle mode uh eh, I'll wait I just want to explore this a little bit. I think the biggest problem with the game is I think what a lot of people had a problem with is that is that some people felt the game was starting to get a little pretentious, like, ooh, this fancy backstory. I'm just like, and the thing is, this game feels like it's continuing right off the 2016 Doom, but at the same time, it feels like it's trying to be different from it. It's kind of a... Yeah, it's it's kind of strange. It's it it's almost like it's weird. I wish I can talk to people who made this compared to the twenty sixteen. Like, why? What? Because this game definitely, I would say, the game looks a little bit brighter. I think the monster designs they look about the same. I they don't look any more or more or less cartoony than the twenty sixteen version. I think the biggest thing is that is the story focus because in the 2016 version the story was kind of more it was there you could get into it but it wasn't forced upon and this one even just barely playing it, i can kind of feel like they're starting to force it a little bit on this um i don't mind the climbing thing i haven't done to the grapple yet i can't wait to do that get into that but but yeah, I don't know if I'll be playing a lot of this compared to 2016 Doom. I just, I was, for a while, I was just on a Doom high. 
where I just played so much freaking Doom. And I just took a break from it. Now going to Eternal, I, I, it feels still, feel, they really haven't changed a lot since the 2016 version. They shouldn't have to. The only difference I noticed is that it seemed, they, they seem to give you a lot of the big weapons earlier. The 2016 one, they made you earn a lot of stuff. And also, is it just me or is it a little, the default difficulty seems a little bit harder. Not a ton harder, just a little bit. It seems like they just threw this in when they made this. They were just like, okay, people already played 2016 Doom. This just treated like as a continuation as opposed to like reinventing the wheel. It's weird. They act like and they, they like, they act and they kind of presented like they're just continuing from 2016 doom yet they do things that make it feel like they're trying to make a new game it's weird it's like they wanted to continue from 2016 doom but at the same time create something new and different try to do both and it's just a weird mishmash that kind of works but kind of doesn't i think the one thing that i would say the biggest thing though is that i think i think they because the thing people who do this game do Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein is definitely more story driven, I think. And it's been a long time since they've done a Wolfenstein game, so I think they were just trying to maybe like satisfy their storytelling urges through Doom. Maybe that's a possibility. Like they wanted to tell a story, but you know they were working on Doom, so they figured, eh, you know, no Doom game really got into depth with the story before, so let's maybe take a look at that. But I don't know. I mean. I like it, and I do think it's a really good game. Some people think it's better than 2016 Doom. I mean, gameplay-wise, yes, I think it it is. But in terms of, like, and presentation's great, too. It's Everything's consistent. It's just the use of the story elements. It feels like they're starting to get a little bit into themselves a little bit. Like, ooh, we gotta do this fancy thing with Doom. And it's just like, we gotta do fancy Doom, because 2016 was so successful, so let's just build on the lore. It's just like... You don't need to build on the lore. It's freaking Doom. We all know what the lore is. But, yeah. I mean, overall, do I recommend it? Oh, yeah. I definitely recommend it. I mean, is it the worst Doom entry? Oh, no. I don't believe so. But, is it better than 2016 Doom? Technically, yes. But, I don't I feel like I have to add an asterisk to that statement. Because there's certain things. I feel like, like I said, and I still, I think I still will keep this opinion. I feel like 2016 Doom captured the spirit a bit more than Doom Eternal Mini because 2016 Doom didn't get too hung up on the story. Hell, there was even moments where they made fun of, like, Doom Guy just skipping over, like, excess shit just to get to the action. I love it. I think he captured more of that spirit. I feel like Eternal was just like, just like, let's do the very thing that the first game mocked, and let's just get really into the story and try to give it, make itself, take itself super serious. And it's just like, you're not supposed to take yourself seriously. I don't know. I think, I think Bishida is trying to reinvent the wheel, but yet not. It's like they're trying to, do, it's like they're trying to do this half and half thing where it's like they're keeping things the same, but adding new stuff. And in that set, in the, in the new stuff section, some of it works and some of it doesn't. It's weird. You know, that, that kind of baffling thing kind of makes me kind of a little on the in the middle right now about how I feel about Doom Eternal compared to 2016 Doom. Now, as a game itself, it's fantastic. But, but compared to the original Doom, I'm not quite sure. But, man, I, I love 2016 Doom. But... Ah, man, I don't... And the thing is, me not wanting to complete Doom Eternal like 2016, that hasn't anything to do with the game, necessarily. And I will say this, they did give you a lot of, like... They, like, 2016 Doom, you don't have to read through everything, so I will give them that. But, by the looks of it so far, when it talks about Hell Priest, I don't even know what the Hell Priests were about. I mean, they give you a codex and all that stuff, but at least with 2016 Doom, it kind of told you this basic story as you play the beginning of the fall of, like... The science and everything. This one, it just seems to kind of... It, it feels like you're being thrown in a little bit. I don't know, maybe there was something I missed in 2016 Doom where I forgot a detail or something. But this one seems to throw you in a little bit. I don't, I don't know. And to be honest, it's not that essential. But... I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. Like, is there something I missed with the story when it jumped? Because it feels like I'm being thrown in a little bit. It's kind of like in... Avengers Age of Ultron when when Hulk and Black Widow all of a sudden were a thing. 
I mean, I didn't mind it, but it was a little out of nowhere. That's kind of the feeling I have with some of these details. Like, when the fuck, why the fuck are we chasing hell priests for? Like, when, when did that come from? Why is Earth in destruction? Did I miss something for 2016 Doom? I don't know. All I know is, is that this is an interesting game. It's a great game, but I feel like... I feel like they're trying a little too hard in the story. Like... Like, after 2016 Tomb, they felt like, okay, we got away with doing not doing much of a story, but the next one we got to put story in it. I think they were kind of misguided in that a little bit. Now, does can Doom have a great lore? Sure, but it's not necessary. If you're going to do a, a Doom lore, if anything, go with what's already been written in books and whatever in comics. Go with that. Go with what's popular. Don't try to reinvent the wheel, you know? But, oh well. It's a very solid game. I recommend it. For sure. It's been out for a bit, but it's probably going to still be out for quite a while. So, get on it while it's current. Uh, I see the DLC of the Ancient Gods. I don't know if I'll take a look at those, really. I, I'm i just not sure how I feel about it so far. I just got to explore it a little bit. I don't know how much or when I will, but at some point I will, because I do love Doom. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. In case you want to chat with me, Mike, or anyone else at the Campy Company, you don't want to use the YouTube comment section, we do have a couple options. The first one is we have a Discord channel. You can find a link to that in about page slash about section of our channel. We also have a discussion tab on our channel as well. You can access that through a PC or laptop computer. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the videos, and have a good day.